Am I a soccer? Greetings from the Fredericktown Homestead. Am I a soccer? I, uh, you know, on YouTube they have these ads that pop up when before you start something, they, or in the middle of a somebody's post, they'll pop these things up, and they say it says uh, 35 percent more, 25 percent more torque. Performance chip tuning box. You just plug it into your computer on your car. Just as simple as that, and uh, you save thirty-five percent on your fuel. Well, I bought, they got me in a moment of weakness. I uh, I just spent eighty dollars on a tank of gas and hadn't gone as far as I wanted to. So. Uh, let me pop this up in front of me, and I bit. I'm currently standing on the dog to try and get him to calm down. When I talk, Bear Dog thinks I'm talking to him. Bear Dog. Yeah. Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, he said last night in the video that I watched that uh, he's no better than anybody else. He's just one of us. He's just got more zeros after his uh, subscribership than anybody else. Well, Daniel, someday I want to have as many zeros as what you got. But uh, I agree, you're no better than anybody else. You're just have more than anybody else and uh, I won't follow you down the Merck Road I'm 99.9% .9 sure of that I don't want to sell Merck uh, actually this shirt doesn't have any uh, marking noticed I, uh, no markings at all no, no JB Brown no, no nothing so, uh, it does still have the Dickies tag on it that I've been working all day trying to get off. They sold their tags right onto them. But, uh, yeah, we're all just about the same. And, uh, that guy that said, I'm boring. Well, maybe I am boring. I think most people are boring. And, uh. Hey, get used to it. That's just the way life is. We're all born. Another thought that I've had today is uh, this plate. Got to take this plate off and put it on this. I got to trade it for this one here. Uh, I've got, see now I'm pointing the wrong way this is the one on big buggy now no stamps that's the one on the current big buggy and uh, on the old big buggy I've got an actual legal uh, that's got all the stamps on it saying I'm taxed inspected certified all good to go all right I'm gonna plug this thing in before I go in uh, you know Lumna Acres up there in Littleton New Hampshire he uh, used to put on videos five days a week and uh, by doing so, he was able to, uh, he was able to re um, quit his job and, and uh, where is that thing? Is that it right there? I think that is it. Um, I got to open up all that plastic and now I can't do that with a camera in my hand. 
Yeah, Al Lumley used to do five videos a week, and that and Tyler, that got him so that his wife doesn't have to work anymore, and he doesn't work uh, out. He just works on the YouTube and on the farm, and he just bought a little parcel. I think it's 500 acres, just a small place. But um, he bought that, and he's going to build a new house, new barn, all new fencing. He's putting in a water system today, and... Uh, He's only putting out two videos a week. Now I tell myself, JB, you're putting out a video a day, at least one video every day. More than that, actually, but uh, my uh, vow to myself is to put out at least one a day. And uh, by doing so, I can see my numbers, and my numbers are climbing at a given rate. I just hope I'm not like Al Lumna and after YouTube subscriptions gives me a tractor and a backhoe and a mini back, mini backhoe and a, uh, makes it so my wife doesn't have to work or gives me a wife to put me in. Um, but, uh, you know, after I make it on YouTube, I hope that I don't quit producing like he has he puts out a measly two videos a week he might put out three on a good week but uh people got used to watching him every day i got used to watching him and you got used to a rhythm and you knew what he did in a day and uh now it's all disjointed very uh, hard to watch because you'll have three four five days in one video very hard to uh to figure out just not nearly as enjoyable for his audience i'm his audience so i know i can say and uh i just want to say i hope i don't do that camera you're not focusing very well come on now you can do better than that I'm tapping it like you're supposed to. And I got a real cute little kitten there, cat, but uh, I can't get it to can't get it to focus. Huh. She's a cutie. Even the bear is not in focus. I wiped off the lens as best I could with my dirty t-shirt. Guess I'll have to do that again. Alright, I'm going to put in this 35% gas mileage saver. And uh, hope it doesn't kill my van. Pray for these people that are coming here tomorrow. and Give them discernment to know what's right. The Lord's in control. He knows what's best. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right. God bless. You're fuzzy.